Welcome to Ace Math Review. This is going to be a series where I go over uh, calculus topics for Ace Math, um, basically before each of my teacher's tests. So about every two or three weeks we'll have uh, a video or two uh, regarding each topic. And so if you enjoy this content, I also make other content. I already have a few other videos that are not related to Ace Math, um, but I'll be making more every week or so. Um, if you enjoy the content I make, I would really appreciate if you did subscribe, but also if you shared it with your friends, because it's if I can help more people, that would be great, uh, and I would really appreciate that, because calculus isn't really that easy, so and a lot of people are going to struggle, so if, if I can help more people, that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, please subscribe and share. Uh, this video will probably be split into two parts, so yeah. Basically, I'll probably link that second part at the end of this video. Um, but if you enjoy, please subscribe, and I will see you. Uh, we're going to talk about limits today. All right, so I'm going to do a few limits graphically before we get into the algebraic ones, because most of the ones you'll see are algebraic, so that's why I'm going to do those more. Um, okay, so we have this uh, weird function here, and we have to identify what these five limits are, okay? Not that hard, actually. So the limit as uh, x approaches negative 3 from the positive direction, that's this side. That's always going to be this side of the graph. And so as we come along here, we get closer and closer, but there's a hole here. The function actually is there. So f of 3 is negative 1, but there's a hole there. So it gets really close to negative 3 or to I meant f of negative 3 is uh, negative 1. It gets really close to negative 3, but it doesn't actually get there, okay? But the limit as it gets there, as it approaches there, is going to be 2. Because this is 2, negative 3, 2. So it's going to get closer to 2. Oops, hold on. All right? I don't know why, I don't know why it's like that. But um, And then from the negative direction, which is going to be this side, it gets closer and closer, and it gets down to 1, okay? And then as x approaches negative 3 from both directions, see these two aren't the same, therefore this limit does not exist, okay? Even though f of negative 3 is negative 1, okay? Uh, the limit does not exist because those two are not continuous, okay? Now the limit as x approaches infinity is going to be, well, if we go to infinity here, which is this way, this keeps going that way, so it goes to infinity, so that's very easy. And then as x approaches negative infinity, this also goes that way, so it's going to be also infinity. If this graph went downwards and kept going, it, the answer would be negative infinity, but th this is pretty simple. Um, so this is this gives you a basis of what you need to learn off of. All right, so now we have to graph tangent of x and find all of these, okay? It's really not that hard because some of these are technically the same. Uh, well, we'll get the same answer. Um, so let's just graph it, okay? So tangent of x looks like a, like a snake, but it like, like an upward opening snake. Um, and so it has its asymptotes at negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So let's just uh, fill that in. So we have negative pi over 2 and then pi over 2. And so let's just do a little asymptotes. Let me just get that out of the way here. Let's do that. So it's just pi over 2 right there. And then this is our negative pi over 2. And so yeah, these are our these these are our boundaries, okay? And so tangent of x is between these two, and it and it goes like I'll just use green, uh, and it goes like this. So you start like that, kind of. Wait, no, it goes up like that, and then you go like that, okay? And it keeps going all the way. It it gets really close. To these two lines here, okay? I kind of didn't draw that really well, but that's okay. So let's uh, let's find what we get to. So pi over two, 
from the positive directions, that's from this direction. So it's not what we graph, but remember, this, you can copy it onto here, and then onto here, and over, because it's, it, it's periodic. It's a periodic function, and it repeats, okay? So, um, basically, it's going to look the same. It's going to be like that, and we can say that it goes to negative infinity. Um, and so we can also look at this and be like, well, it's also the same as negative pi over 2 um, from the uh, positive side. And so we have that here. So you can see it goes down to negative infinity because we have an asymptote there. So we just emphasize that it's negative here. Okay, so it's the same thing. Now pi over 2 from the negative side is from this side. So we're going toward infinity. It doesn't look like it, but we're going towards infinity. So I'll just write that there. And it's the same thing as negative pi over 2 from the negative side, which is also going to be infinity. Okay. Now pi over 2 and negative pi over 2. So pi over 2, these two, are, we have to look at them. Are they the same? No. Infinity is not negative infinity. So this does not exist. I don't know why my marker's dying. But, uh, and these two aren't the same, so that means this does not exist either. How about infinity and negative infinity? Well, these are weird because you don't actually get an answer. Because you can take one period, but you can only go to pi over 2 at the maximum and negative pi over 2 at the minimum. You can do that over here and then over here, but you're only going to have a certain boundary. You, you have a range of, or I guess, uh, you, you only have this little range here of pi, okay? So you can't get to infinity. So these two don't actually have an answer. So technically they do not exist. Um, and yeah, it's an interesting little thing, but they, you, you can't get that answer. All right, so now we have the natural log of x. And that just looks like this. It just looks like a, just like that, basically. Okay, so let's see. So this has an asymptote here, so I can kind of just draw like a little, a little boundary up there and up there, right? Um, okay, so zero from the positive direction. That is going to be negative infinity, because we have, um, we, we have it zero from the positive direction. It's going to get closer and closer uh, to this zero, and it's going down to negative infinity. Zero from the negative direction doesn't exist. Okay, if this was uh, 1 over x, it kind of looks the same. It would have this, and then it would have this. Um, but that doesn't exist, so we put a d and e here. x approaches zero. These two aren't the same, so this doesn't exist. Okay. The limit as x approaches infinity, it goes to infinity. You can see it, 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 oops, it goes all the way to infinity, so that's that. Uh, and then negative infinity, again, does not exist. A lot of things don't exist. But now we just have this limit as x approaches 1. Natural log of 1, well, what gives you, so uh, ln x is equal to, um, or ln 1 is equal to, I don't know, y, okay? so e to the y is equal to 1, you can raise both sides to the e, and so e to what power gives you 1, that's 0. So uh, limit the uh, ln of uh, uh, 1 is 0, and so the limit as x approaches 1 is 0. All right, so we have 12 algebraic limits here. Some are pretty easy, some require a little more thought, so let's get into it. So the limit as x approaches 2 of x, just plug in x for 2. Um, and you, you end up with 2, okay? Limit as x approaches 2 of 2, you're not going to go anywhere. So this could be 2, it could be any number, but you're going to still end up with that any number. So if this is 4, limit as x approaches 2 of 4, you're still going to get 4. It, you know, because you don't have any x's to plug anything into. So uh, the limit as x approaches 2 plus of 2x squared, well, ignore the plus for now unless you need it. Because sometimes, if, if the, if the function is continuous, then you don't need to worry about the plus. But if it's discontinuous, then you do. Okay, so 2 times plug in 2, 
2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. You're not going to need to uh, distinguish 2 plus and 2 minus. This is simply just 8. Limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over x. This is where it gets a little interesting because 1 over 0 is 0. So you or it's undefined. You can't plug in 1 over 0. Um, so it matters. 0 plus and 0 minus matters. This limit does not exist. Why? Because if you plug in a number approaching 0 from the positive direction, then you get 0 0.0001, okay, basically a really, really small number. 1 over a really small number is a really large number, and that's going to approach infinity. But 1 over 0 from the negative direction, that's going to be negative 0 0.0001. A 1 over a negative really small number is going to get you a really large number, but it's going to be uh, negative. So you're going to end up going to negative infinity. So you go negative infinity on one side, positive infinity on the other. You don't end up with anything that, you know, it, it, it's, it doesn't exist because it's not the same. Now, 1 over x squared, you may think, oh, it's just the same thing. But 1 over x squared looks different, okay? Because if you plug in a really small number that's positive, you end up with a really large positive number. But if you uh, if you put in a negative small number, you end up with a positive a positive large number because um, a negative number squared is a positive number. Okay, so this goes to infinity. Oops, I'm I'm sorry. All my markers are like dying. Um, so that's infinity, and I'll show you a quick little sketch. So uh, one over x looks like this. Yeah, no, 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 no. If 1 over x looks like this, and, uh, yeah, and, and then 1 over x squared looks like that. Okay, they don't touch, but it, it, gets, it gets close, okay? It looks like that. So you can tell there is a difference. So this, the, this function is discontinuous. Uh, or it, they're both discontinuous, but... Here they go to the same place, no matter if you're positive or negative, okay? So, uh, the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x is different, because if you plug in infinity, 1 over infinity, you can think of a really large number. 1 over a really large number is going to be a really small number, and that's going to approach 0. So this approaches 0. This is okay. But x approaches negative infinity of the same function, it's also going to approach zero because one over a really large uh, negative number is going to give you a really small negative number and it's going to get smaller and smaller until it gets to zero. So it's going to be like negative point zero zero zero. So this is like zero from the negative and zero from the positive up here. Okay, ease and natural logs. Pretty easy. So uh, e to the really large power is going to be a really large number e to a negative really large number is going to be a really small number. This is simply 1, so e to the negative infinity is 1 over e to the infinity, which is just 1 over a really large number, so this is going to be 0. Um, and you can, you can see from their graph also, it's going to be, so e looks like that. Okay, so as you can see, you go to negative infinity, it's going to get to 0 positive infinity is going to go to infinity. A natural log is just the inverse, and it looks like that, so we'll, we'll figure all this stuff out in two seconds, all right? So here, a natural log of infinity, well, as you saw, it goes up and it goes towards infinity. Oh my god. And then natural log of neg- or, yeah, natural log of negative infinity, well, a negative natural log is not a real number. You can do that with complex numbers, i, but in the real world, it doesn't exist, so we're just going to put b and e. It doesn't cross the y-axis into the negative direction. And natural log of 0 is undefined, but it gets really close to negative infinity. Uh, you know, it goes down that way and all that.
Thanks for watching part one. I'm going to leave a link in the description and somewhere around my face of the next uh, part two. And yeah, hopefully you uh, found this helpful and you'll find the next video helpful.